there's new evidence that people who have allergies and are out there driving around can actually be impaired. Channel 2's Carol Sparge live in Midtown Atlanta with the results that show those drivers suffering with allergies can be as impaired as someone who's been out drinking, Carol. Yeah, Justin, standing out there breathing this fresh air seems like it would be a good thing and it wouldn't affect your driving, but a new study from the Netherlands shows for some people it does. Twice a week, Deb Ford gets allergy shots. She's actually not surprised that a new study shows people with allergy symptoms who drive are comparable to people with a .03 blood alcohol level. I mean, you just don't feel good. You know, your eyes are watering, your nose is running, and um, a lot of times you get really sick with it. So I can understand that. In the study, drivers drove for 60 minutes with a camera recording them to see how often they veered to the center lane. This technique called standard deviation of lateral position is used to assess drunk driving. Very disturbing because what this basically shows is that patients who have symptoms of allergic rhinitis are impaired. Dr. Stanley Feynman with Atlanta Allergy and Asthma Clinic says the impairment makes sense because patients complain of feeling tired and not feeling right. So the body releases histamine and histamine and other chemical mediators can make you feel run down. Dr. Feynman advises people find out what they are allergic to and get a treatment plan. The study focused on people with tree and grass pollen allergies. And about 30% of adults do have allergies, so that's a lot of people that are out there driving. Live in Midtown, Carol Sparge, Channel 2, Action News. Well, any of us who've been through it before, I mean, your eyes do get bleary, and it's a mess. So thanks for sharing that, Carol. And we posted this new study on allergies and driving on our Facebook page. To read more about it and share with information with your friends, go to Facebook.com slash WSB TV.